the main role of a performance director for all all the programs, um, all the Olympic and uh, Paralympic sport is to lead the world class performance program, at, as set and uh, finalised with uh, UK Sport. So obviously in this cycle it's the it's the real program, but um, part of, part of my role when I first came into he, into this position a number of years ago and also been around the sport um, for quite quite a bit. Just recognising that we always tend to work in uh, one, one cycle at a time, focus on the current uh, Olympic Games that we're sort of preparing for. First thing I did when I st started this position is, yeah, Rio is our, is our primary goal for the Olympic and Paralympic programme. So uh, as a performance director, uh, putting various structures, systems in place to uh, qualify a team for both the Olympic and Paralympic Games, starting to build a, a comprehensive uh, support team in terms of coaching and uh, sports science team, manage, manage the over oversee and manage that team and also then liaise with our stakeholders which is UK Sport, the British Olympic, Olympic Association, British Paralympic Association and uh, various other interests like the English Institute of Sport which a number of our staff uh, are currently and employed through. So a lot of my work is really in the background. I'm not directly working with the athletes on a day-to-day -day basis. That's done with the coaching, coaching team and the uh, sports science, sports medicine team. So my role is overseeing um, the whole of the program in terms of what the final preparation looks like, liaising with the British Olymp Olympic Association and the British Paralympic uh, Association. I'm team leader um, for, for both events um, going into Rio. So and part of that then is just basically managing the performance team. Um, all the players will have individual athlete plans. I've designed the templates in conjunction working with the, the coaching and the, and the performance team. The coaches are, have responsibility for various athletes that are on the programme and it's their job then to work with the athlete and put that plan in place and execute the plan. My role is to oversee those plans, making sure that everything is connected, that the, it's the right plan for the right athlete, um, it fits the programme going in, into Rio, and uh, we've got the right support around the athlete in terms of sports science and sports medicine. Over the last couple of years, I've been working with the, the BOA and the BPA in terms of like, what does our plans look like going into the Olympic and Paralympic Games. They've set up a, a training base in Belo Horizonte, just north of Rio. Uh, they've got a very strong judo club. We visited there twice over the, uh, the current cycle. First, a bit just to wreck the facility, what, what, what sort of uh, facilities they have in place, um, who are the people that we're actually dealing with, and we've managed to build up a, build a very good working relationship with the guys in the Minas Tennis Club in Belo Horizonte. They've got a very strong judo club, a couple of their athletes that are based there, um, a former Olympic medalist and uh, one's a world, being a world champion, and they've got a training, a training hub of about 40 athletes that train full-time in, in a reasonable size dojo. So part of the work in terms of getting ready for Rio was seeing what, what we're going to do when we arrive in terms of our final preparation. The final little bit of work in terms of the competition, we arrive on the 3rd of August into Rio, move into the village, and a couple of days later the competition starts. My work's done by the time we get to, get to that uh, place because as team leader it's making sure that all the planning and all the detail is completely finalised and take away all the pressures from the coaches and the sports science team and the athletes themselves. I mean, they won't really see the amount of work that goes on in the background and there's no reason for them to do that because they just need to focus on doing the final preparation, being ready for, for Rio and to step on, step on the mat when it's the competition day and the coaches to make sure that um, effort around them is, is put in place. Very positive. Um, ultimately, when you work in Olympic sports, this is what it's all about. Uh, I'm not nervous by any means. The work's been done. I think you're only nervous if you're sort of trying to buy, fly by the seat of your pants and you're sort of working on like sort of lastminute.com and you haven't done all the work. Now, so we've done all the work. We know what we do when we arrive on the 29th of July in Belo Horizonte. We know what those days look like in terms of final prep and then arriving in the village on the 3rd of August. Draws being taken care of on the 4th and all the detail behind the prep work. So in terms of that, um, I'm not nervous, um, very positive, very optimistic, really looking forward to the Olympic and Paralympic Games. We've got a good team in terms of athletes and we've got a good team in terms of staff wor working with the team. We've done a lot of comprehensive work around what it takes to win, every very clear on the role around 
uh, games time in terms of going into the pre-games camp and then what it looks like on a day-to-day -day basis uh, during the competition. As I said, we've, we've qualified a good team. They're in a good place. Many of these players have medalled um, from European Championships, Grand Slams, Grand Prix, and consistently beat players in the World Top 10 in the qualification process. The Paralympic guys have medalled at the World Games and the European Championships in the last 12 months. Three of them are seeded, um, which is uh, very positive. They've beat many of the players that they're going to come up against in the Olympic and Paralympic Games. It's just a matter for us making sure that we can optimise the performance of each player on the day and ultimately it's down to the player themselves uh, to make sure that they get the best performance out of themselves but we're making sure that everything around them has been taken care of to give them the best chance so um, very positive looking for, towards Rio um, really looking forward to you know, seeing our, our team perform at the games and uh, ultimately the goal will be to get the best performance out of them and if we do that then we should have a really good Olympic and Paralympic Games.